Hello YouTubers and welcome to Mud Max Metal Detecting. Right, uh, first the bad news, or at least it's bad news for me. I've broken a bone in my foot. So I'm going to be out of action now for several weeks. Probably nearer to 10 weeks actually. So I'm not going to be around unfortunately. I'm not going to be doing any videos, uh, sorry to say. But I do want to do a quick review today, just as a little au revoir, because I did buy some cleaning brushes and I haven't had much chance to use them yet and I haven't been finding anything to use them on so I've been using my old finds and bits and bobs uh, these are from Phil's quality detecting accessories I will provide you with a link uh, he's got loads of other stuff so if these don't take your fancy don't worry please do pop along and have a look at Phil's site because he does do quite a lot of detecting accessories various things and you might see something that takes your fancy but this is a set of three cleaning brushes this one is a bristle brush. I'm not going to show you that because whatever I clean with that is going to be exactly the same as you'd clean with any other brush. It's no different to using a nail brush or a stiff toothbrush. But I am interested to see where and when you would use metal brushes. This one appears to be brass and this one appears to be steel. Now, I think straight off the bat, it's pretty obvious to me that these are not going to be delicate cleaners so I'm going to take a few bits outside I can't do it in here because the dust and the crud that's going to fly off of the pieces when I clean them with metal brushes I do not want to be sitting here ingesting that and inhaling that so cleaning with metal brushes indoors no don't think that's going to be a very good idea well one thing I should also mention as well is they do actually come with three danglers so if you want to dangle them off of your coat and your, your jacket and then just quickly unclip them in the field and use them, you can have them dangling along on your waistcoat or your coat. Personally, I wouldn't have metal brushes in the field, not on your Nelly. Um, I can't imagine a situation where I'd ever stop and start smashing into a find with a wire brush in the field. But uh, I'm sure I'll find another use for these because I'm always making stuff. Right, so I'm going to take a few pieces away. I'm going to give them a clean and then I'm going to show you the results. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so as suspected, this is not a delicate cleaning method. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, just taking a copper coin. I'm going to state the obvious now. You, you, you know what's coming, don't you? I barely touched that one and it just ripped the patina off and gave a nice rusty colour through the middle. Yeah, so I stopped. Yeah. Uh, this one. This one is, a, is an old copper that I sacrificed. It was absolutely filthy, horrible and gunky. And I cleaned away to see what would happen. And it's given it a nice polished finish, but it is now starting to rub off the actual surface of the coin and blur the king's head. There's no doubt about it, if you try and clean coins with a metal brush, you're going to do as much harm as good. The only one that had a positive result was the most disgusting, manky, burnt, horrible, dented coin that actually, when I cleaned it, it did remove the surface crust and it did allow me to see the king's head. And it did allow me to do it very quickly. I don't think many people are going to want to spend a long time cleaning coins like this. So just for a quick clean up, quick sniff to see if you can see what it is. It proved effective on that coin, but that was one disgusting coin to start with. So what do you really want to use a wire brush for? Well, big things really that you just want to clean very, very quickly. Maybe get them down to their base metal. Things like old brasses and things that have got nothing on them, no nice design. Uh, it took seconds to get that lovely uh, orangey, burgundy terracotta whatever you'd call it, kind of look. Uh, it really did get all the green off. Now, obviously, a lot of people like the green patina, but it wasn't a full green patina on this. It was just a bit of a mucky old plate. And actually, some people would like to clean those back to their original, and it will do that very quickly. Another piece where it was very effective. Imagine, if you will, that this is a full plate off of a piece of machinery. Some people really like finding those. Uh, 30s and 40s machinery, 50s machinery, they really like to find the old plates that have got the big old embossed, is it called embossing? I'm not sure if it's embossing, it probably isn't. But the, the big old proud lettering, something that you can really clean very quickly, get it back to its base metal. Um, I've just done the top half on this, the bottom half is all 
funny still, just to give you an example of what it does. But that was very, very quick. You could really give it some elbow grease and very, very quickly clean that up. So I think that's where a metal brush for me uh, is, that's where it earns its corn. It's not a delicate way of cleaning. Uh, these are not things that I'm gonna use very often because I don't clean many things that need a metal brush. However, I'm still glad that I've got them because I think on occasion, they are gonna come in handy. It's as simple as that. But do go and check out Phil's quality detecting accessories because he does a lot more besides. So even if those brushes aren't what you're looking for, something else on his page may well be. So do, please do follow the link. Please do go and check him out. Right, so uh, that's it for me, probably for quite a few weeks. <laughs> I'm not gonna pop up and do anything else unless it's really worth it. I do prefer to be in the field detecting and showing you that kind of video. So until the next time, there will be a next time, but it's not going to be for a little while. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.